All right, so to answer this, to factorize, okay, so let's start with A. We have got A power 2 plus 3A. So we must first understand what does it mean when they say factorize? What are they talking about? They are simply asking us to find uh, what is common. So I've got A here, power 2, and 3A. So what do you think is found here and here? Same thing found here and here. We're able to see A power 2 here and A here, meaning A is here and it's also here. So what we're going to do is to just say equal to, get what is common here, it's A. Put it here, right here. And uh, write the brackets. Here we shall have A plus A3. Because this A has gone out, here we had how many A's? Two of them because of power two. We have two had, we had two of them. And now one of them is outside the brackets, meaning we'll remain with the one A here. And this is the, our solution for question A. Okay. So now let's try to work out B. Question B. So question B, we must first look. We have A, B plus A, E plus C, B plus C, E. Now, do we have anything that is found here, 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 here? Like common, it's found here, it's found here, here, here. If we look around, nothing that is common. Okay? So what are we going to do in this case? We are going to factorize by grouping. We say by grouping. So we're going to put these terms in two pairs. So we're going to say A, B plus A, E. We put it here inside the brackets. We have paired this. And we say plus C, B plus C, E also inside the brackets. So if you're able to see nicely here, if you're able to see nicely, you can now see something that is common here and here. A is found here, it's found here. C is here and C is here. So this is it. Good, we are moving the right way. So now we're going to say equal to, what is it that is common here? It's A. When A is outside the brackets, what are we going to remain with? It's B plus C, E. Okay. And then we say plus. What is it that is common here? It's a C. C is here, it's also here. We write C here, okay, and put the brackets. We shall remain with B plus C, E. So now, rule number one. When you are factorizing by grouping, this is called factorizing by grouping, the term or what is here must be similar to what is here. Okay. So the next thing here will just be to write now the A, which is in front of uh, this, these brackets. So we're going to say A, we come to this, what is it, in front of these other brackets. We say plus C inside the brackets. We pick one of these, we just go with this one. We say B plus C, E. That's all. Forget about this one. Just get this one. You write it here. That's our answer. We now go to C. Okay, C, let's put it here. So for C, we write it here. C, we have uh, 4 B power 3 plus 12. Uh, B, 12B. So here we check what is it that is found here and here. A4 is here and a 4 can go into 12. It's more like dividing negative 12. So 4 is common. If you get a 2, we are not going to factorize it completely. So to factorize completely, we must get a 4 such that uh, there is nothing else that will remain here. Okay? So we're going to write a 4 here. Now, let's come to the letters. Do we have letters that are common here? Yes, we have a B here and a B power 3. So, we write a B. Okay? Why have I written B here? It's because the smallest degree we have is B. If it was B power 2, we could have written B to power 2. Because the smallest power is power 2. Okay? We can't write power 3. You write the smallest power 2. Now, this one, it's just a B, which is the smallest degree. So, we just write a B. And open bracket. So 4 into 4, it's 1. So meaning this and this will cancel, it will remain here. What about B into B power 2? It will be 
it will be b i mean b power three it will be b power two i will explain further so just keep on following 4 into negative 12, it's a negative 3. B into B, it's 1. So you end it right here. So now let me explain further. On, uh, on this one here, on this one here, when you write a 4 and a B, well, you know how we got this one. Now for you to divide here, just say B into B power 3. Using the laws of indices, when you say B... Okay, power 3 divided by a b. What are we going to get? This will simply be b power 3, okay, minus 1. There is a 1 here. You know, when we are dividing laws of indices, there is a power 1. So this power minus this power, which will give us a b power 2. So if you, want, if you don't want to use this method with what I've just used here, you can just say, how many b's do we have here? There are three of them. There are three b's. b times b times b. There are three of them here. They are dividing. Over. How many b's do we have here? It's one. So when you cancel this and this, you just remain with how many b's? Two of them. So b times b, it's b power two. This is how we're supposed to do it. If this also, if uh, this is also not working for you, uh, you just say this is there are three of them. You just remove one of the b's here, so you remain with b power two. For this one, it will disappear just like that because it will be a one. So this is what we we did. Thank you so much for watching. For online tuitions, as usual, we conduct online tuitions. Remember the number to WhatsApp or call is right here, so that you are not left out. Remember, we've started doing tuitions for those who will be writing their GCE exams and uh, internals. So make sure you contact us. Thank you and bye-bye.